One of my favorite things to do in a snowmobile is run over wildlife. That's a weird thing to say. <laughs> I kid, I kid. But apparently, okay, good because otherwise you'd be a psycho. <laughs> apparently, this is what they're doing in Wyoming. And should a House bill, uh, a draft bill headed for legislative committee, advance, uh, those who do enjoy that sort of activity will have that right protected by law explicitly in that- Wyoming. <laughs> Okay, that is such a bad idea idea on like so many levels here. Now, hang on. We're not talking about the cute little jackalopes, Carly. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) We're talking about uh, animals classified as predators, like a wolf. That's even worse. Okay, let me paint you a little word picture here, all right? You're a dumbass. Mm -hmm. You're on a snowmobile having a great time. You see a wolf. Let's say for sake of argument that you're a dumbass. Okay. (laughs) Yes. Anyway, you decide (laughs) to mow this wolf down, but- you don't quite get it. Mm-hmm. You get it enough that you kind of hurt it, but not too bad. But on top of that, when you do it, you damage your snowmobile and now it can't move. And you've got a pissed off wolf who's ready to eat you. A pissed off apex predator. Yeah. yeah. That just seems dumb. And okay, let's paint another picture. Let's say all goes well. You run down this wolf, it dies, and now you're covered in blood and guts? Like, that's just gross. Why uh, would you choose to do that? I guess someone in Daniel, Wyoming... A dude struck an adolescent wolf with a snowmobile, muzzled it, collared it, and paraded it through a sublet county bar. So it was still alive? For hours. Yeah, that's that seems cruel. That's mean, dude. Don't make a walk around when it's already hurt. I don't like that. And what are you doing with a wolf muzzle? Well, I mean, a dog muzzle would also fit on a wolf. I guess. (laughs) So. I guess. It's a little weird that he just had it with him. See, that's some serial killer shit, if you ask me. You know what this sounds like? <laughs> this sounds like the Pacific Northwest version of the Alabama law that allows you to run over a deer and keep it for eating. Well, okay. Isn't they, don't they do that there in Georgia or Alabama? To or be some- fair, that's just not being wasteful. <laughs> I kind of get it. Is How the does thing. wolf meat taste, I wonder? Probably like dog. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Knowing that wolves are ancient ancestors of yeah. the common dog. But yeah, they're pretty closely related. <laughs> oh, man. That just seems so... <laughs> to me. <laughs> right, which I get. And also, realistically, we are just kind of a, waste- a wasteful society. There's nothing wrong with the meat. I don't see a big deal with it. I get that it's not the classiest... But also, we need to destigmatize that because there's no reason to be wasting that food. Well, and I'm not talking about the sidebar. I'm back on running over a oh. wolf with your snowmobile. Yeah, that part I don't get. I think that's terrible, and I don't know why you would choose to do that. that. Just seems... I mean, unless it was actively doing something to pursue or harm you, then I get it. And by the way, I'm not one of the I'm not one of those save the wolves people. When they come in to you know, yeah, threaten your livestock, boom, do it, right. dude. I'm yeah. fine with that. Control the population, whatever you got to do. I mean, are we a civilized society or not? Right, right. I do know when they did introduce wolves back into the Yellowstone ecosystem, Mm -hmm. it was good for everybody. Right. Yeah. So I just just think that is the height of what in the tarnation. (laughs) What in the country bumpkin. (laughs) What kind of redneckery (laughs) is this? Yeah. Maybe. What's going on in Hicksville, <laughs> Hicksville Wyoming? 